Fantastic. Really, I'd say it's like, it is a really, really amazing turnout and it's really, really good to see so many people on here. And thank you, thank you everybody for coming and joining and being part of this. You know, this is something that lockdown was forced on us, but now we're kind of really trying to take this opportunity to reach out, to see new people. And wow, look at the numbers on here, Louisa. Was that a hundred plus already? And literally from all around the world. So it's a great job that you've done, Louisa, and said, and reaching out to friends, new friends. When it's hard for us to go and play out on the pitch and have a football match with our friends, Louise has done a great job reaching out all around the world. So now we're here making new friends. We're learning together. We're all going to try and improve together and become better footballers. Even if we can't play a match, we can try and find ways to be better. And it's really, really easy at the moment for us all to feel so, so isolated. So isolated. But look on this group. Look how many people there are on here. All of us trying to improve and try and become better footballers and better people. Great to see my name is Tommy Collins. I'm the Juventus Academy London head coach. I'm also head coach of ELA, which is uh, who supports and is the sister club for Juventus Academy London. Um, yeah, and as I say, it's just great to see so many, many of you on here, really trying to improve yourself, listen to the message, try and educate ourselves and try and go on. And when we return to the pitch, we'll be so better for it. We'll be the all round complete player. I'm going to hand you over to Louisa now. She um, is going to then talk to you a little bit about our special guest speaker today. And um, yeah, but from me, thank you very much all for joining us and well done everybody. Great job just for being here, well done. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome, welcome to all players and family. I'm excited to have you here. I am Louisa Raimondo, the international partner here in London. I'm blessed to have an amazing team who are also online together with my ELA family. Um, it's amazing to have a, a global Juventus collaboration today. It's uh, Juventus in unity. <laughs> um, please add in the chat where you're from. Um, from what I can see, we've got Scotland, we've got Oman, hi, uh, America, Saudi Arabia, we've got Italy, hi Giuseppe, hi Lorenzo. Uh, thank you for being here today. Um, Juventus Academy aims to develop players on and off the pitch. And like we always say, we develop the person first, and then the player. So what do we mean by that? We, we focus our skill and development on five areas, which you're all, you, all aware of. Um, the style of play, technical ability, tactical ability, and then also we look at the mental, emotional, and social factor. Now JP has worked with top athletes and sports people and has transformed them from ordinary mm -hmm. to extraordinary to reach their full potential. Um, I have personally worked with JP for four years because just like you, I'm always looking to level up, always looking to get to that next level. Uh, please have pen and paper to hand to write down anything that resonates with you. So without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you my mentor, my coach, JP De Villiers. Hello, 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 everyone. Louisa, I want to see the chat because I want to see... Oh, okay. Messages, yeah, sure. but uh, has anyone typed in chat yet? Yeah, yeah, see. they have actually. Let me, um, everyone, here we go. Can you see? So, they're Italy, London, <coughs> Poland. I can't Italy. see anything. Can you not see? Maybe because they came in before Saudi Arabia. We've got Italy here. Hey, Peter, Scotland. got let, USA, Bermuda, let, <laughs> Romania. <hey. laughs> Hey, Zachary, Tyler, guys, use this hour to write and ask me questions and just share who we got here. London. Good evening, London. Who else? <laughs> you say we had Italy here. <laughs> Buonasera a tutti. <laughs> Buonasera. Uh, Come stai? Saudi Arabia. Salam alaikum. <laughs> nice to see you all. Poland. Uh, I'm trying to speak Polish now. I can't remember my Polish. I can say Dziękuję. That's it. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Torino. I've been to Torino. I used to date a girl in Asti many, many years ago, just around the corner. London. Uh, we got France. Bonjour. Ça va? Saudi Arabia. Amazing. Scotland. Awesome. Glasgow. Wow, we really have a lot of countries here. So, guys, kids, guys, ladies, gentlemen, I don't just want to speak at you. I want to speak with you. I want to have a good time with you. So I am a mindset coach. 
I help people play a better game, not just in fitness, but also in business and in life. I help people go after their goals and achieve their goals faster. I help people get clear on what they want. And I'm going to spend as much energy and I'm going to spend my time with you, invest my time with you to help you get all of those things as much as I can in one hour. Does that sound good? Write it in the chat. Does that sound good? Hello, Elias. Hello, Faith. Hello, Daniel Aberdeen. Awesome. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Okay, before we start, I need you to see me clearly. By the way, I'm going to be every now and again, just scrolling between the videos. But if your video is turned off, I cannot see you. I can see you, Catalan. I can see you, Zach, AJ, David. Who else we got here? Emre, I hope I'm saying your name. Ale and Luca. Xavier, I can see you. Turn on your videos if you can so I can see you. Otherwise, don't worry. Just watch in the background. Make sure that you can see me. Make sure that you can hear me clearly. Make sure you're sitting comfortably with a spine straight because that's how you retain information in your brain. You don't inf uh, get information in your brain when you sit like this or you sit like this. So just do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and for the next 50 minutes, sit straight up so that you can take as much of this as possible. Max, I see you. Nice position, my man, nice position. Max just sat straight up, he's ready to go. Okay, first, what I want you guys to do, by the way, I'm loving the football jerseys. What I want you guys to do is I want you to play a game with me. I want you to go like this. I want you to take your hands, hang on, now I've got to get this right now. Okay, I want you to go like this with your hands. Everyone go like this. Let me see you. Okay, now I want you to go like this. And then I want you to go like this. Can I see everyone? Yeah, okay. Now I want you to go hands out again. Keep your hands out. And I want you to go like this, palms together. And then I want you to go like this. Okay. Now bring your hands back out like this. Keep them like that. Keep them like that. Let me see. Okay. Now put your, keep having your hands like that, but push your arms out straight. Push them out straight. Okay. Keep doing that. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Keep holding them out. And now I want you to do this. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Now your hands need to be straight like this together. What? <laughs> okay. Do it again. Do it again. Watch me go like this. Go like that. Go like that. Push, push your arms out. Push them out. Okay, hold it tight. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Let me see. Keep pushing those hands out. Push them out. Okay, and then I want you to go like this. And put your hands back together. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys now. Okay, so just a little bit of fun, right? What you didn't see is I made you go like this. And then when I put my hands down... I changed my hands like that. I did that, but I showed it to you like that. So I just went, whoop. So what's the lesson here? Sometimes you don't see things. And in order to get to your goal, you have to see things differently. Type, type I get it in the comments if you understand what I mean. You only saw one view and therefore you felt stuck. But because I was able to show you another view, rather than here, I showed you that, you were able to get to your goal. It's just a bit of fun, but this is crazy important. You have to keep being the best student in football, in school, in life, so you can keep changing the way you see things, so you can go from stuck to unstuck. Okay, so let's be open 
to learning more so we can get more unstuck and achieve more of your goals. Tell me right in the chat, what's your goal? What is your number one goal or your top two goals or your top three goals in life? Or what's your top number one goal in football? Catalan says being the best. Tommy says being happy. Great goal, brother. Uh, playing for Liverpool, being a footballer. Stavros, Max says be a footballer, become a footballer. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so lots of goals here. Get a PhD, amazing. Uh, play for Celtic, play for Spurs, awesome. Lots of inspirational goals here. Okay. I want you to write in the chat. If you are here, can everyone see that? Yeah, let me use a better color actually. You see that better? That's you. That's you right now. If you want to get here to your goal, what's it going to take? Write it in the chat. What's it going to take? What's it going to take for you to reach your goal? Amina says effort. I hope I'm saying your name right. Whoa, that's too fast. Hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work. Practice, <laughs> grind, grind, hard work, hard work, hard work, dedication. Hard work, effort, hard work, practice. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. I'm so glad that you've come to this session. Now in your life. Because hard work is not enough. If someone doesn't believe that they can get to their goal, is hard work enough? Say yes or no. If someone doesn't actually believe that they can become a pro footballer. No, no, no. Okay, so you guys are in the right room. You understand. Thank you for writing hard work. I promise you hard work is incredibly important. Look at Ronaldo, right? Cristiano Ronaldo, whether you're a fan of him or not. He is a pro footballer and everyone thinks, oh, he's so talented, he's so talented. But if you go watch documentaries about his life, he did two things when he was a child. Yes, he worked very hard, like everyone just said, but he believed from when he was a child, I am going to be a professional footballer. And when his friends would say, oh, come play, come party, all that stuff, he said, no, I'm going to be a professional footballer. And he just practiced and practiced and practiced. But practicing is not enough. It takes two types of games that you have to play to be a professional uh, footballer. One is the outer game, right? This is you here. This is your world. This is you being a pro footballer, being celebrated, making loads of money. You have to get very good at this game of football. But most importantly, you have to work on your inner game, you. So let me ask you another question. Do you believe not if you do the hard work, not if you meet the right people, not if you have the right opportunities. Do you believe non-negotiably that you can be the best footballer in the world or the best footballer for a team or a pro, pro footballer? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, amazing. First of all, give yourself a round of applause for the fact that you know you can do it. Right? It's very important to celebrate yourself. You know what champions do? Nice one, Daniel. Nice one, Max. Champions celebrate themselves all the time because they're proud of who they're becoming all, all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, er, yes. Champions, <laughs> absolutely. What makes a champion, Max? What makes a champion, Dan Daniel, Vasil? What makes a champion? What's the number one thing that makes a champion? I gave you a clue already. Yes, Daniel, mindset, self-belief, commitment, determination. Yeah, mindset, belief, mentality, mindset. All right, you guys are smart. You get where we're going here. Okay, so let me share with you a little bit about me. Just so you know that I'm not some random guy. And by the way, I'm not from England. Can you hear my accent is weird. I'm from South Africa. 
Okay. Desire, self-belief, never giving up. Nice one, Leonardo. Never, ever settling for second best. Never, Stavros. Never settle. Push to the highest ability of yourself. Push to be the best version of you. But don't push yourself on the outside. Push yourself here every day. Push, push. Yes, I can. 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 I will. I must. If I can, I will. And if I will, I must. Or if I have the will, I must. Independence, learning from your mistakes, absolutely. Mindset, it's all mindset. That's what makes a champion. Also, what makes a champion is heart. Have you guys heard that saying? The heart of a champion, the heart of a lion, the heart of a warrior. And what does that mean? What does it mean to have the heart of a champion? Someone write in the chat. What does it mean to have not the mindset of a champion, but to have the heart of a champion? Once again, oh, someone just said it. Zaki, courage. Exactly. Courage, will, courage. Absolutely. Kindness. I love that. What makes a true champion is becoming a champion, but not putting other people down. Passion, compassion, passion, Passion, compassion, man, this is easy. You guys are making my job very, very easy. Your attitude, absolutely no fear or feeling fear and doing it anyway. It's all about this. It's all about mastering your inner game. So if you have a pen and paper, I want you to write down my inner game. And my outer game. Your inner game is your mind and your heart. Or you can say your spirit, the spirit of a champion. And your outer game is your body, your fitness, your skill. Okay? We're not going to talk about this today. We're only going to talk about this. And when you get the inner game right, this becomes easier. Right? This is Louise's job, Tommy's job, or whoever is your coach. This is their job. Right now, I don't need to help you with this. If I can help you with this, this will become so much easier. Then you will work harder. Then you will be more dedicated. Then when your friends say, oh, come out and play, or you know, if you're an adult and you're being swayed by other people's opinions, you say, no, no, no. I am a champion. Therefore, I choose to show up like a champion in my outer world. Daniel says, if you're scared, if you're scared to do it, do it scared. I love that. I've never heard that before. That's a great quote. Or if you're scared, do it anyway. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about your mindset, training your mind to build your physical muscle. What do you need to do? How do you build physical muscle? Max is exercise. I mean, it's his gym. Exercise, train, working out. Okay, so there's three parts of you. There's three parts of you as a human being. There's your mind, your body, and your spirit. Or your mind, your body, your heart. Or your mind, your body, your soul. So when you look at your body, you say, how do I get stronger? How do I get fitter? You guys are smart. You know, dedication, practice, hard work, gym, training, exercise. But if there's three parts to us, that's not enough. That is not enough. You know, Louisa said, I'm her coach and mentor. I don't get her to work on her body. Sorry, I don't work on her body. I work on her mindset. And then she goes and does better work in her body, in her business, and in her life, and for you guys. But I'm working on the inner game. I want her to be a champion on the inside so that she can then start to show up as a champion on the outside. A child. Hello? <laughs> Who was that? Did you want to say something? 
No, I think it was just someone unmuting themselves by mistake. So, so knowing that there's mind, body, and spirit, let's forget the body for now. Let's even forget the spirit a little bit. And let's just work on one thing, training your mind. The number one thing I want you to understand is what I shared with you before. How you build your mind muscle is building your belief in yourself. So what I want you to do is I want to give you a little exercise here that is going to make you, not tomorrow, not next week, right now, it's going to make you train your mind and it's going to make you believe that you can actually go out and make it happen. And it's called an evidence list. If you go into court, they're trying to find the truth. And what they do is they try to create as much evidence as possible to, <laughs> someone just farted, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was. So you need as much evidence as possible to create a truth. So I want you to write down, what is my truth? And you can say, I am a Juventus player. I play for da da da, da. I am a champion. Write down, I am, followed by your truth. Write it in the chat. Go. I am. Write, tell me your truth. Amina says, I am a winner. Zayed says, I am a keeper. Stavros says, I am a, gr a good footballer. Stavros, why not be a great fo footballer? Why not be an extraordinary footballer? Be careful what you look for because you'll find it. Don't settle for good. Go for great. I'm a champion. I'm a defender. I'm a winner. I'm a leader. I'm a gamer. I'm an Aberdeen player. I'm a great footballer. I love it. I'm an amazing footballer. I am me. I am me is a very beautiful thing to say, but I want you to think of who do I want to be as me, right? It's a very beautiful, powerful thing to say. I am me, but who is that? How do you want to show up in the world? Is it as a leader, a footballer, a role model? I love what Yusef says. I'm a legendary footballer. I love that. Zaki says, I'm a world-class player. I'm an immaculate footballer, Ali says. Camille says, I'm a captain. Okay, amazing. Make sure that wherever you are right now, that you write that down. Write it down because here comes the exercise. That's not the exercise. Write that down. Nice one, Daniel. Show me if you've written it down. Show me in your book. Show me on your paper. If you've already written it down, show me. Zaki, I see it. This, this, this is not going to work unless you do the work. Max, I see it. Rion, I see it. Paul, I see it. Nice one. Nathan. Okay, let me come to the other screen for a little bit. We've got Dominic, Alex, Shaden. Who else? Catalan, Amin. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so here, let's go to work, okay? So... There's many exercises that I use to train the mind. So I just want you to understand that this is just one. But the reason why I'm sharing this one with you is because it's one of the most powerful tools I know to get you to achieve any goal in sport, business, or life, or and life. Number one, write down who you are. Write down your identity, right? So I'm going to write, I... I'm a champion. Now, if I write that my truth is that I am a champion, but I don't have any evidence to prove that right, you know what my brain's going to say? What's my brain going to say? When my mouth says I am a champion, what will my brain tell me? You lie. <laughs> you lie, JP. You are not, Mansoor. Daniel, you lie, yeah. Oh, why you say that? You lie. You're not good enough. Look how good they are. They're much better than you. Oh, look at the last game you played or look at the last uh, practice. Stop the cap. What's that? I don't know what stop the cap means. You can un or explain. 
Cat means lies. Ah, awesome. Thank you. Stop the cap. Yeah, stop the lies. Um, okay, cap, it was lies. Thank you. So this is what will happen. If you say, oh, yeah, I'm a champion, but you don't believe it, it'll just be words. In, in the mouth, out the back of the head, because you don't keep it in your head because you don't believe it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to believe it. What you have to do is you have to write down everything that you believe makes this true. Every thought you've ever had, Daniel says, I'm a tiger. <laughs> I'm a lion. Look, see, can you see the lion on my hand? I believe I'm a lion, a warrior. But I have to have evidence to prove that to be true. With a lot of my clients, they say, oh, I want to be a millionaire or I want to be a, a world record holder. And I say, okay, if that's your truth, show me the evidence that you actually believe that you can do this because otherwise we're wasting our time. I want to say something, Lorenzo, Ale, Georgia, Georgia, everyone here, that if you don't believe that you can reach your goal, you're wasting your time. You're wasting time, energy, money, because you could be doing anything else. You have to believe it. So let's get to work. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to work? Are you ready to start creating the evidence for your truth? Oi, Craig, is that you yawning? Wake up. Oh, I don't know who that is. There's two brothers there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I see you guys. I see you. <laughs> Mason and Logan, are you ready? Yes, <laughs> they're so excited. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so let's go to work. I want you to write down in the chat. I want you to write down every evidence that proves that you can have this goal. Maybe it's I practice every day. I eat well. I write down my goals every day. Daniel says, yes. Mm -hmm. Write down every single thing that can help you believe that you can make this happen. I am consistent, Emir says. If you say to yourself every day, I am consistent, I'm consistent, I always show up, I always go to practice, this will start to condition your mind, train your mind and build your champion muscle. I am the goat, or I am a goat, Leonardo says, the greatest of all time. Who here knows Muhammad Ali? You guys are a bit young here, most of you. But Muhammad Ali, the, one of the greatest athletes that ever existed, used to say, I am a champion. And he used to say that even before he was a champion. Did you know that? He used to say, I am a champion. I said it even before I knew I was. He was so careful with his language. I am the best there was, there is, there ever will be. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'm bad. I'm fast. I'm bad. I'm so bad. Last night I injured a rock, uh, hospitalized the brick. I can't remember the, all the quotes that he used to say. I'm so, what did he used to say? I'm so bad. I made medicine sick. He always chose champion language because he knew that being a champion is not about the outside. It's about the inside. So what language do you use? I love Zachy says, Messi is bad compared to me. I am so fast before the life goes off. I'm already in my bed. <laughs> say, say that again. Can you? I'm so then? faster than light. I'm, I'm in my bed before the light goes off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I'm fast. I'm real fast. Light. I'm so I fast. I am a child. <laughs> he used to say, uh, Muhammad Ali used to say, I'm so fast last night. I tripped the switch on the light and I was in the bed before the room went dark. <laughs> okay, now, guys, I want you to feel the power of this. I want you to feel the power of saying your truth and the power of using positive champion language. No one's going to hear you because there is about, well, there's, over, there's 119 people here. So everyone, I want you to unmute yourself and I want you to shout out your truth over and over again. I'll start. Unmute yourself. Go. I am a champion. 
I am a champion. I am a Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. How yes. fun was that? Now exactly. imagine, imagine if you, if you spoke to yourself like this every day, what would happen to your mindset? Would it get better or worse? If you spoke to yourself like this every day, would you practice more or less? If you spoke to yourself like this every day, would you eat better food like a, like a champion or would you eat food like an average athlete? Better, 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 more, more, eat better, 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 yes, yes, champion, eat better, right? So it's not complicated, guys. What we do on the outside starts on the inside. What we get rewarded for in public, listen carefully, stop writing now. Darius is vegan. Amazing. I'm vegan too. I've been vegan for four years. I eat only plants. If you did this every day, what would happen to you on the outside? What would happen to your skill? If you spoke to yourself like this every day, why am I vegan? Or oh, because I just, I, I challenged myself to see if I could live a life without killing animals. And four years ago, I'm an athlete. I've uh, done professional Muay Thai, Thai boxing. I've done ultra marathons, uh, Ironman triathlons. And I just realized I didn't need meat. So I just stopped eating meat. But that's, that's another conversation. You will be unstoppable if you do this. I'm dumb. Hansa, that's not true. Don't play jokes. You'll be stronger, Mansur Sezaki. You will be better, stronger, faster. Absolutely. You'll be a player. You'll be a player. Amazing, amazing. So I'm getting too excited with you guys. I want to go back to this exercise now. That's just one thing, saying this over and over again. But you've got to believe it. You've got to have the evidence. So I want you to write in your paper and in the chat everything that you've ever done in your life that proves that this is the truth. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've done in my life, and I'm not doing it to show off or to put the attention on me. I want to show you that if you can show yourself the evidence, you will start to believe it and you'll start to make it happen on the outside. There's a saying here, sorry, there's a saying I want to say here, People are rewarded for what they practice in private. So it's time to start practicing, not just the body, but the mind. Let's go to work. Okay. So I said to you guys, Tommy, Connor, Mirko, Dominic, who else we got here? AJ, Giorgio, Lorenzo, Tassin. I said to you guys, I am a champion. But is that just hocus pocus talk? Or is that the truth? Let me show you my truth or why I believe this is the truth. In being an athlete, I used to cycle professionally when I was a teenager in South Africa. I rode a, for the Italians here. I rode a very famous race in South Africa inspired by Italian cycling called the Giro del Capo. I was very well known. 
I also, after cycling, I moved from South Africa. I moved to the UK where I live now. And I tried doing other things in my life. And I actually, I fell in love with music and DJing. And because I believed that I could be a good DJ and I did the hard work and practiced, I became a very well-known DJ. I DJed all over London, the UK, then Europe. I ended up DJing in Riga, Latvia, Scotland, for the, in Edinburgh, for Hogmanay, like New Year's. So I became very good as a DJ. Then at 23 years old, I realized that no, that lifestyle wasn't for me. I liked the music, but I didn't like the lifestyle. I wanted to feel fit, strong, healthy, happy, and I needed to change my life. So I got fit again at 23 years old and I went back to fitness and I saw, I was living in London and I saw a gym in London and they were doing boxing and I thought, hey, let me try that. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to believe that I can be a good boxer and I'm going to practice and do the hard work. I'm going to believe and I'm going to do the work on the outside. I'm going to do my inner game and I'm going to do my outer game. And three years later, I was a professional boxer, professional Muay Thai, Thai boxing. If you guys know what Thai boxing is, or if you don't know what Thai boxing is, it's where you box, but you also use your elbows, you use knees, and you, you kick, and you have no shin pads. So it's very violent. Sorry, I dropped my pen. And I went from a scared little boy growing up because I got bullied for 12 years in school, guys. I wasn't this confident as a kid. I was very shaken because of the bullies and I hid away from everyone in school. I didn't believe that I could do the things that I'm doing today. But when I was 23, I started to work on my mind muscle, not just my body muscle. And I became a professional boxer. I fought in London. I fought in big stadiums in Thailand. So that's another evidence for me, right? Thai boxing, I went from nothing as an athlete or a cyclist and I became a professional cyclist. I went from learning how to DJ to being a professional DJ. I learned how to do Thai boxing and I became a professional Thai boxer. Then I realized that, man, I was learning all of these tools about mindset that I realized I could help other people become champions in their own life. And at 25 years old, I decided to become a coach, not just in fitness, but I coach people in business, in life. I've coached actors and singers. And all I do is I get them to work on their inner game, just like I had done in my life. Because I just knew that if you're going to master the outer game, you had to do the inner game first. And then I started working with celebrities. So that gave me evidence that I was a champion. Then I did a commercial in the London Eye. Do you guys know the London Eye, the big wheel in London? I did an advert, a TV advert. Then I trained a double, I see you, Zaki. Then I trained a double Olympic gold medalist in the UK called James Cracknell. Then I trained a, uh, an actor for Pirates of the Caribbean. And all I'm saying here is I kept doing stuff that made me feel proud of who I was. And I kept adding evidence and evidence. And then I wrote a book and then I wrote another book. And then I started speaking on stage because I was so good at what I was doing. People asked me to speak. So I said, yay, I'm a speaker. Then I overcame my fears and I jumped out of a plane. And then I worked on my language and I got, and I kept doing more evidence, more evidence, more evidence. And I kept building my mind muscle, mind muscle, mind muscle, where today I promise you, Tommy, Max, Connor, Mirko, Victorus, I am unshakable and unbreakable. And I say that to you because I never used to be, Nathan. I never used to be that way. I made myself that way. Champ, write this down. Champions aren't born. Champions are made. Champions aren't born. Champions are made. You have to make yourself a champion. Like I told you the story about Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, he made himself a champion. Where did he make himself a champion first? Outside or inside? Write it in the chat. Where did he make, if champions aren't born, they're made. Where did he make himself a champion?
inside, 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 inside. Amazing. Awesome. That's good. Great, guys. All in his mind, in his head, in his head. All right, you guys got it. So are you willing to train your mind? Are you willing to make yourself a champion on the inside first? Catelyn, I see you. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you are ready to start training your mind and making yourself a champion, even before you leave the house, say, I am ready. Write in the chat, I am ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, I wanna take a little, I wanna take a little break here with you guys. And what I wanna do is I wanna do another exercise with you to show you the power of belief. Okay, so everyone, please stand up. Everyone stand up. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to take your right arm. Yeah, your right arm. Okay, your right arm, keep your feet shoulder width apart. Your feet should be about this wide apart. Stand up straight. And then I want you to take that arm and I don't want you to hit yourself or your brother or your father in the face. I want you to turn back as far as you can and take your head back with you. Just listen to my voice, stay back, turn all the way back, keep your arm up straight, keep your hand level to your shoulder and turn all the way back, right? Keep your feet must be facing forward, your hips must be facing forward and just twist back, watch me. Stay there. Now stay there. And notice how far back you go. I'm not seeing everyone do it. Twist back and notice how far back you go. Okay. Okay. There's someone that's not on mute. Um, Louisa, if you could make sure everyone's on mute. Notice how far back you've gone. Okay. Just notice that. This is very important. Go back, make a mark on the wall or something. That's how far back you've gone. Okay, now come back, come back, come back. Keep standing up. Keep standing up. Did everyone do that? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do. Yeah. This is the power of your mind. I want you to close your eyes. And I don't want you to move your body, but I want you to imagine, just stand still but I want you to imagine that you're doing the same exercise and your body is twisting all the way around 360. Imagine that your body is so loose, just train your mind. Your body is so loose that you, your body twists all the way around, all the way, all the way, all the way, and it comes back the other side. Keep feeling it, stand still, but keep feeling what that would feel like for your body to twist all the way around. Put it in your mind so clear. Feel your body moving. You feel no resistance. You're going all the way around. Your arm keeps going around, around, around. Your head keeps twisting. Feel yourself going all the way around. And now open your eyes. Open your eyes. Now stand in the same position. And now do the same exercise again. And see how far you can go. Okay, tell me, who went further? Just say me in the chat. Who got further? Mason and Logan got further. Great. Connor got further. Okay, lots of people, lots of people. So what did we do? I'll, because I didn't have your mind focused. Great, Yusuf, yes. Xavier, yes. Me, Daniel, yes. Daniel, visualized it. I believed it. Oh, man, you guys are good. I imagined it. Yes, me. Wow. Okay, so same. This is the same moment here that we are together. But the first one, this is very important, right? When you go to your next training session, the first one that we did only used the body. And we got a certain way. We got a certain length. But then we brought the mind into it and we got so much further this is the importance of keep doing the inner work do the inner work do the inner work can you imagine yourself being a captain
Can you imagine yourself saving the goal that would have lost the game? Can you imagine yourself being the winner, the champion, the celebrated athlete? You've got to see it to believe it. But you've also got to believe it if you want to see it. Yeah, I'm an old guy, guys. I don't, I don't follow uh, football. I just train athletes. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, follow Messi. I see some guys are getting into an argument in the chat. Let's stay focused here, right? Let me know, right in the chat, I'm focused. Let's stay on track here, because guess what? I only have 10 minutes left with you. I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused. Good, let's do this. I don't want to waste your time. I want you to get the most out of this. So write down in the chat, if you wrote these already, if you've already started writing, write in the chat, I'm on my list of evidences. And it doesn't have to be the things that I did. It can be, I train hard, that's my evidence. You know why I can be a champion? Because I train hard. Here's another evidence. I take care of my language. I use champion language. All right, lots of you have done it. Amazing. Leonardo is 1,000 million percent focused. I'm on my list. I'm on my list. I'm on my list. I'm on my list. I'm on my list of evidences. I am on my list. Boom. You guys are inspiring me, man. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep after this. You guys are giving me so much energy. I oh, I like this. I like this one. Zaki says, I listen to my coach. That is a very good evidence to have. Champions, I've worked with some of the best of the best in sports and business. And I'll tell you this, guys. Champions never think that they know everything. Champions never think that they know everything. They are like, like this, open, waiting to learn more. Coach, tell me what to do. Show me what to do. Show me how I can be better. Max says, listening is key. Oh, Absolutely. Oh. What else? Show me some other evidences that maybe would make you believe that you're a champion. That you eat well. That you listen to your coach. That you're humble. Yes, Alex. That you never quit. Yes, if... Put your hand up here if you never quit. Write that down. If it's not on your list, write it down because that's what champions do. Have you heard that saying? Quitters never win and winners never quit. Quitters never win and winners never quit. I never quit. Do you learn, have you failed before? Have you had a bad day before? Have you had a bad practice? And have you walked back from that practice and gone home and say, hey, at least I learned something today. If that is you and you learn from your mistakes and your failures, write it on your list because that's what champions do. Max says, I have respect. That, write that down. If you are a respectful player or a respectful person, write that down because that's what champions do. I push myself. I work hard. Impossible is possible, but not done before. Impossible is possible, but not done before. I like that. Impossible is possible. It's just not done before. I stay in my lane. Good. I'm a serious player. I push harder than it, I push harder than it pushes you. I learn from my mistakes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, guys. So I want to share with you another tool very quickly. You ready? Are you okay if I share one more tool with you? Type yes in the chat. Yes in the chat if I can share one more tool. All right, let's go. When you see champions win, a lot of the time when they win, they don't say, oh my God, I never, I never thought this would happen. No, they don't say that. They're like, yes because they have been planning it for many, many years or many months or many days. They've all, everything that they've been doing in their life day by day by day is focused on the end goal, the championship, the medal, the trophy, the celebration, the reward, the money in the bank. They already saw it 
and they believed it, therefore they saw it, but they have to do the work towards it. So I want to give you a strategy for you to be able to do the work towards your goal. So here's the first thing you've got to do is write down your outcome. Okay. So for example, for me, I'm going to use an, I'm going to use my example here. Okay. I'm going to use my example. My outcome or my goal, I'm going to share a few of mine with you. I want to be the most inspiring athlete in the world. I'm an old man, okay? But I can still be inspiring. I want to be the most inspiring athlete in the world. I'm an ultra runner. I run like crazy long distances. At the end of this month, at the end of February, on the 27th, I'm running 79 miles. That's almost 130 kilometers. It's going to take me about 22 hours. And I'm doing it because I want to inspire people. So that's my goal. I want to be in, uh, oh, it doesn't matter, inspiring athlete. want to be an inspiring athlete. What else do I want? Uh, I want to be a um, successful business person. Or I want to be more successful. Whatever the outcome is, the picture at the end, write it down. Write down what you want to see at the end. Do you want to play for a certain team by what age? Do you want to move to a certain country and play for a certain team by what age? Do you want to achieve something in life or business by when? When do you want to make it happen? So for me, this inspiring athlete thing is on the 27th. I want to have more business success by the end of 2021. So now what you do is you look at your daily action someone said it here before i don't know who it was but one of the things that makes you a champion is consistency is being consistent thanks guys keep writing your goals there keep writing your goals Win the world cup of scotland when when paul make it real put a time on it nice one paul <laughs> put a time on it tottenham at 16 scotland at 14 Amazing. Tottenham at 16. Okay, so once you know that, let me, let me share this with you because I'm coming to an end now. What's going to get you to your goals is what you do every day. Listen carefully, guys. Sit still. Sit up straight because I have two more minutes left with you. What's going to get you to your goal is not what you do when you feel like it. Not what you do when it's good weather. Not what you do when you're not in a bad mood. It's what you do every day. That's what will take you to your goals. So what daily actions are you committed to doing to get to your goal? What are you going to do every single day to work on your goals? What about your mindset? What about your food? If you want to think like a champion, you've got to eat like a champion. You can't think like a champion and eat McDonald's. It doesn't make sense. Because champions don't eat McDonald's every day. How are you going to move? What attitude... How do champions wake up in the morning? Sorry if I'm shouting at you, but I'm passionate here. How do champions wake up in the morning? You tell me. What's their attitude when they wake up? Positive attitude. Inspired. Hunger in the Boom. Inspired. Energized. Positive. Sleepy. <laughs> they, are you saying they pray? Absolutely. If champions have faith. Early training. They, oh, Leonardo, how do they wake up in the morning? They wake up with a plan. They're determined. They wake up determined, absolutely. They wake up focused. So this is the commitment. And you have to have a question. 
Okay, I'm just going to finish up. I've got one minute left. This is what I want you guys to do as a result of you coming to this session. I want you to promise me that if you came to this, it's because you want something more. It's whatever is on this side over here. So I want you to make a, I want you to make a commitment to showing up every day, training not just your body, but training your mind, training your heart, your spirit, your courage, your gratitude, and building that mindset muscle. Are you committed? Are you committed to doing it every day? Because if you're not, you don't want it bad enough. And if you don't want it bad enough, you'll never get there. And I don't mean want it on the outside. You've got to want it here. Do you want it here enough? Do you want it here enough? If not, keep doing this work. Keep doing this work. Keep working on your mindset until you want it enough. But until you want it enough, nothing will change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want it so much. 1000%. I love you guys. Passion and your energy. Yes, sir. If you believe it, you will see it. Just keep believing it. Just keep training your mind muscle. Keep building up your heart muscle, your courage, your fearlessness, your determination. And eventually, I promise you, the world will catch up. But don't think that practicing is enough. Practicing is not enough. If practicing was enough, anyone training would become a champion. But it doesn't work like that. You become a champion from the inside out. Yes, of course. Give 100% every game. Never stop. Awesome. Guys, I wish I could spend a lot more time with you. But I'm already over on time. So I'm going to hand back to Louisa. But before I do that, I want to leave you one more exercise. I want you to write down 100 reasons why you want your goal. 100 reasons. Max, do you get me? Write down 100 reasons of why you want your goal. <laughs> you said that. Daniel says, JP, you, I want you to look out for me on TV. All right, I certainly will do. 100. Yes, I add. 100. Why? Why 100? Because if you can't find 100 reasons, you don't want it bad enough. And when you find 100, it will be the only thing in your mind that this is who I am. This is my truth. If you get stuck at 50, keep going. When you get stuck at 75, Zaki, keep going. No less than 100. But of course, if you get to 100 reasons, 100 reasons why you want your goal, should you stop at 100? Nathan, no, absolutely. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Because the more evidence you can find, the stronger your belief to make it happen. You don't wake up in the morning. When you have a lot of evidence and you have a lot of reasons why you want your goal, you won't wake up and say, oh, I'm just going to do my best to train or eat well today. No, you wake up and you say, hey, get out of my way. I've got things to do. <laughs>